Is it possible to travel faster than the speed of light? How would it work? Wonder, wonder, wonder. Howard White is a physicist in charge of NASA's advanced propulsion team. He says that Einstein's theory of general relativity establishes a universal speed limit. It states no one can go faster than the speed of light. But the same theory also provides two loopholes, namely wormholes and space warps, that might possibly be used to make an interstellar trip, maybe in weeks or months. By these methods, travel occurs by never going locally faster than the speed of light or getting out of time with clocks on board the ship or at home. The idea comes from the ability of space to expand and contract at any speed. Space doesn't have a speed limit. What might effectively happen is that space compresses and expands, resulting in space-time shifting around the ship. So the ship arrives at a different place only by having the outside space change. Possible in theory maybe, but can it actually work? NASA says they're studying warp technology in the lab and they've decided to move it from impossible to feasible. They say more work needs to be done. In the meantime, positive results have been reported in tests of an electromagnetic propulsion unit. First proposed 15 years ago by British engineer Roger Shaw, the drive produces propulsion by bouncing microwaves around inside a closed container. Despite seemingly flying in the face of Newton's third law of motion, three independent tests have shown propulsion to be produced. The final test was done in hard vacuum by a NASA lab. If successful, it's proposed that a working EM drive could propel us to the moon in four hours and Mars in 70 days. Interstellar travel may require something with a little more oomph. Thanks for watching. What do you think? Let us know about any videos you want to see. Like, share and subscribe for new videos every week.